out. So Vettel remains in 13th position. Raikkonen in the Alfa Romeo comes across the line. He goes up to 13th, out qualifies Sebastian Vettel. Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris basically are in a duel to see who will make it through. Norris comes across the line and remains in 10th position despite improving. The question is going to be, can his teammate Carlos Sainz beat him? He's done a good first couple of sectors, Carlos Sainz. He's found a good chunk of time. Comes out the final corner and across the line. Sainz versus Norris, and it is Sainz who comes out on top. Norris is shuffled out down to 11th position. Daniel Kafiat's had an off on this lap, and uh, quite a dramatic off, I think, through the gravel by the looks of things. Maybe George Russell did, coming down through Savelli. Ocon goes seventh, but that means Norris is eliminated in 11th place. 12th for Daniel Kafiat, 13th for Kimi Raikkonen, 14th Sebastian Vettel, and 15th for Roman Grosjean. So Vettel eliminated in 14th place in Ferrari's 1,000th Formula One Grand Prix. No, uh, Norris is a, a, a shock, but I think it could have been worse for McLaren considering where their, where their paces appeared to have been. A couple of tenths clear of Kvyat, Raikkonen and Vettel, three cars. Kvyat then stayed level on time. He was level on time to the 1,000th with Sainz. Then he had Raikkonen <laughs> match him to the thousandth. If science hadn't have improved, we would have had three drivers all on an identical time for 12th position, which would have been 11th. P12, Danny. Hey, OK. Uh, it was tricky with DFN 3-4, but uh, we analyze later and uh, still can race from there tomorrow. I did the better lap. And Lando, I'm sorry, we finished P11, mate. All right, no worries. Try again tomorrow. Yeah, man, tomorrow is where, where it all counts. No singing today for Lando Norris as he returns to the pit lane. Leclerc was less than a tenth away from fifth. Albon's got that fourth place, I think, in his, in his relative pocket. He's three tenths clear of Daniel Ricciardo. We're just seeing what happened to Kafiat, and he did rustle it. But uh, instead of being brave and flat out, he decided not to have a massive crash. I think he was a little bit wider as well. Than yeah, let's not accuse Daniel Kibiat <laughs> of a lack of bravery here. I don't know what would happen if he heard us. How are we through? Yes, we are. Wider than George Russell and only rejoin the track. Sort of on the apex of Arabiata 1, whereas Russell could at least open it up slightly more. So disappointing for Alpha Tower in general. No cars into Q3. Leclerc's done a good job up in eighth, as you say, in the Ferrari. That doesn't surprise me, really. Leclerc's been looking good all weekend on this track. Seems to really gel with it. And he's got a good chance of getting right.